everybody and welcome to this new attempt at taxiing with the Piper Cup. So it's a no wind day, almost no wind. There is some dew on the on the grass, so I'm going to stick to the road. And uh, if you remember, if you haven't seen it, you can check it. Last time it didn't go too well, one wheel fell off. I put it back on. I probably put in too much glue because it doesn't turn as nicely as it should. But uh, let's give it some Let's give it a go. I'm going to set up the, the camera and everything and uh, I'll explain to you what I've changed. So I've connected the model up. I've uh, built in a little sheet of wood in here. You can see it and to it I've managed to put a bit of Velcro and uh, stuck the battery to it. It's so that it doesn't move about and change the center of gravity. I hope it's okay. Also, more importantly, I've uh, adjusted the rates I think it's called so I'm going to show you so this is the normal rate the maximum rate let's see if you can see it and uh, this is at 60% and this at 40% so I had to look it up never done it before so again something new um, also for the elevator again this is maximum 60% 40% so I'm going to go with a 60% kind of the middle position and I'm going to see if I can control it in flight or actually not in flight actually still taxiing and see if there's any way that this uh, can actually taxi straight in one way or another the rudder I've left maximum because as I don't have a, a, a tail wheel that steers then I, I have left maximum rudder there the full rudder so I hope I'm gentle enough with it that it doesn't that it doesn't turn too much right so so let me set up the other camera and let's see how this goes and I don't know if you can see it but there's actually a cloud rolling in a very low cloud so early early mist um, so the tissue is getting a little bit wet already so I hope it's nothing too serious I still struggle with directional control I'm going to see if I can put in more more power and uh, right rudder right like with the big ones flipped over how could I do that if I if I flip over on a slow taxi I can't imagine what I'll do if I ever try to land this let's see again right rudder oh well we keep trying it's getting closer at least Well, that was more promising, wasn't it? I somehow did manage to keep it on track for like two seconds, which is good. So I'll take it back again and keep on testing this. That last run wasn't bad at all, I, of course with speed and there's more control on the rudder. It's somehow fun to see how the wheel deformates when it turns tightly and it gets a side loading. Hopefully it doesn't break off. Overall now with the, with the control I see that I've been flying for 1 minute 2 seconds, not flying but engine time, which I suppose I need to f and empty a battery doing this until I have it spot on. Let's keep on. That was a bit of a bump, but it was going fast already, I could almost control it.
Okay, so let's do the debrief. In overall, I don't know how many attempts I did, but uh, I've been I've got engine time of around five minutes, maybe five to ten seconds each attempt. So you can do the maths. Uh, on the downside is the humidity. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if I can get you closer. There's a lot of visible humidity there. You see the windscreen, the windscreen, the tissues all wrinkled up. So that's the downside. Also another downside is that one of the ailerons seems to be getting looser and looser, so I need to fix that. But overall I would say not a bad attempt. I'll cut out of course a lot of the attempts, I'll try to leave in only the most interesting ones. Um, I estimate around maybe five, six, seven, eight reasonable good runs. So, so that's good. The wheel now turns better, so that's also good with the, with the use. Um, and it did show intent of flying. I do have the feeling that uh, if I would give more power at the beginning and I managed to control it, it probably would try to do some hop. So that might be then the aim for next time, to get some, some hops in there. Um, other than that, I would say like a long period, it was five minutes of engine time, but I don't know how long I'm here. Maybe 15, 20 minutes of walking backwards and forwards. So it is a little bit tiring. But, uh, but not a bad attempt and it has survived in spite of the crashes once it went into the sewer, it bumped into the curb a couple of times, it flipped on its back at least twice that I remember which is also interesting right like on the takeoff to flip on, one, on the back it's also maybe an indicator of the center of gravity let's see so I would leave it at that and uh, hopefully next time it will be a hop let's see how it, uh, how it goes as always, thank you everybody very much for watching, for following along and all your comments and recommendations. And I'll see you next time.